Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy, A Realm Reborn. What? Or Final hey, Fantasy 14. Tiber. Yeah. Anyway. We're yeah, well, we're still in Realm Reborn, you know that, right? Yeah, well... Yeah, we're not, we're not, we've got a lot more story stuff to do before we can get to uh, Heaven's Word. Fine, All right. fine, fine. Dance! Uh, the last, oh, no. Oops. Uh, the last time, we we just, we, uh, we demonstrated our tendency towards narcolepsy. I think. That might have been the time before last. I don't know. This is my guild master! Give me a moment, Shahrazad. I need to think. Hey! What's up? I wanted to... <clears throat> I wanted to spare you this, Mila. I begged you not to go. You knew this, Aldous? That... That the Void had... I think it's Leia Void. Or is that Leia Vold? Oh, it's Leia Vold. That's an L, not an I. Leovold and I once fought side by side in the Colosseum. The twin swords of Naldal, they called us. Never lost a match, honored by the bull of Alamigo himself. That was then, and this is now. When I learned Leovold single-handedly transformed the Alakarn from a gang of common thieves into the most feared criminal organization in Thanalan, I knew I had to return. It seems like a lifetime ago that the three of us used to train together in this hall. The Lavold I knew would never stoop so low. He was a good man, strong and true. What would drive him to do this? When I find him, I'll be sure to ask. Unfortunately, he seems determined to kill me for my curiosity. What aren't you telling me all this? I'm not clever enough to keep secrets, my dear. I'm a simple man, only capable of dealing with what's right in front of me. Is that so? I'll find him, Miller. I'll promise. Ooh, wave. Slow walk. Alrighty, let's see. We're getting a new shield. With significantly less block strength, but a hugely greater amount of block rate. Not sure which is better. And a sword. Let's see what else we got. I'm curious. No. Well, block strength is how much uh, blocks, and block rate is how often it blocks that amount. Yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm no. I mean, I'm not sure which I want more. Hmm. Storyteller oh, level three. Woo! Yay! Yeah. Anyway, I have to get to uh, level twenty-five to get the next one. Let me just uh, optimize. <laughs> Check out my Carnage Sword. Huh? Actually, looks really cool with a purple blade. It's all right. Whoa, hi, that is your skirt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm hi. I'm with a buckler now. That's I'm going with buckler versus tower shield. So nice. I guess that one's going to be cool. Uh... Anyway, I'm sure let me get a move. Yeah, sure. Let's keep going. I'm curious. Okay. See the um, base class? Does it only go up to level 30, or does it keep going until 60? Because I think the quests stop at 30. I don't think so. I think... Uh, no, I'm pretty sure they, they it keeps going up, because um, once you get your expanded version, it's based on your base class level, I think. Oh, really? I'm not sure. It seems to be how it worked. Because you have the base class, and then you get um, at least four... Advanced jobs. Because um, on my other character on a different server, the... Uh, it starts with an H. Halcyon? Uh, no, not Halcyon. Uh, it is Halcyon. No, Hyperion. Uh, Hyperion, yes, on the Hyperion server. Uh, I went with the Scholar, and I can't stand it, because it annoys the hell out of it. Well, that's only because you know about, you know, team. A team. tanking pet or anyone to help me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the entire point was to be a healer for uh, White Caliber. Hmm. Anyway, off to the airship landing. Yeah! Woo! Woo! We can get out of here! Here's the Yay! airship ticket. We have to buy a ticket like every time we use the airship, but whatever. Oh, really? Yeah. <sighs> Greetings, madame. This is the reservation counter for passengers traveling to Limsa Lominsa. Limsa Lominsa. If I'm not mistaken, you are the Flame General's envoy, Shahrazad Baranik. Yes? And your sister, Scythia Boreas? Yes? 
Highwood Skyways is your service. Will you be flying with us today? Yes. Yes, we will. I need to go to the forest area to get archery, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Quick! Yeah. Look at the sparkly gangplank orb. Oh my god, it shines! Four! Yes. I think fancy stuff happens on the airship, actually. Really? Oh. I think so. I don't remember. I remember Cuts Arcage in. had, like, times airships that you had to wait for. Yeah, that was a pain in the ass. That was really a pain in the arse, you know, so it took, like, half an hour and an hour for the bloody thing to move. Attention all passengers! The airship is bound for Lensa Lamensa. Is about to depart. Please make your way aboard the gate. To the boarding gate, Ooh. even. That's a pretty picture. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool. Anyway. Smile. Just me, I guess. Mm, yep. <laughs> we have an airship all to ourselves. That's not, that's not, you know, very safe with the ladder still extended. I think the ladder is part of the stabilizer. Not very safe, that tiny rope. <laughs> nope. Well, health and safety is not a thing in this universe. Clearly. Well, when, you know, when you've got magic. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, but there's okay. still death in this universe. <laughs> Did you see that? That was funny. It's like, bye, bye! Yeah, fuck it up. When we first met beneath the Sultan Tree, I sensed there was something unusual about them. I wonder if they will feel the same. Godspeed, Shahrazad, and Scythia! Godspeed! That's really hard to say compared to Godspeed. Yep. If I'm right, they'll be singing your praises from here to the Far Reach before long. I love how they're waving like we can see them. in the light of the crystal. What? I love how they're waving like we would be able to see them. Alright. Well, oh wow, fluttery. That is really fluttery. Huh. What? Starships? What? What? Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah that is, looked uh, like a bloody starship. This is the tech. This is the tech end. This is the, the tech empire. The bad guys, if you will. Oh, wait, why are we seeing the bad guy stuff then? Sorry, this is exposition. Oh. You can tell they're bad guys because of their horns, their colorations, the black, the red lights, and the music. You want to know another also, reason? Also, they've got gun blades. You want to know another reason you get to know it's the bad guys? Why? Because it's basically the same uh, introduction to Darth Vader. Pretty much. And every it other villain in Star Wars. Years, he even sounds like Vader! since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Agrios, mightiest of all vessels. Holy crap. Silver Till Lake lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so That's we Leviathan. believed. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day, at the heart of which Don't the great Swarmer. meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the Dread Serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, oh, wasn't invincible. and all hope of victory with her <laughs> so ended our glorious conquest. That is just such an epic image. <laughs> Don't Our invincible screw. flagship. It was not very invincible. It passed, or it could have been that good. Silence! Silence, I am trying to speak an epic tale. Our invincible flagship. Oh, hey. Eorzea, yes, you're talking over upon the audio. Riddled with false it gods. Wasn't nice Twice now, it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. 
Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. What? Warframes? We, we are one, one mind, mind, Lord Van Those not look warframey? Yes, they really do. Apart from you can tell those people inside them. What the fuck? Is that a headless dragon thing? No, I think that is the dragon after it was defeated. It's too tiny to be that. No, I think it was wrapped up. I think it is the dragon. That's not Bahamut. It's way too small. No, it's not the Bahamut, but it's the one that. That was a TIE fighter sound! But what I'm saying is, I think it's the one that attacked the thingy. Their invincible ship. Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at the Orsia? Oh, it's the British. Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. There's another reason you know they're bad but guys. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartaner. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? <clears throat> I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. Oh my god, I want to punch him. Right in that little third eye of his. My, my lord! Please, oh god, Nero. Mm? Tell me, where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure oh God, you, Frumentarium sees all. Okay. Big enough sword? Clean up this mess. It's a gun blade. And do not miss any. Yep, I know. Or... Oh. All right, at at, at once, my lord. Okay, he looks way better with that hat on. Yeah. Garland. Soon you will be made to know the true Ooh, power Magitech. of Magitech. I like Magitech. Magitech is cool. But it's usually evil and fueled by, like, death. Well, I don't think it's necessarily fueled by death itself, just exploitation. And, yeah. uh, and siphoning, of, you know, of the planet's life force. Hmm. Linsa Luminsa, the upper decks. This place is kind of a pain in the ass to navigate. Is it? A little bit. Once you get used to it, it's okay. <clears throat> There's a lot of ups and downs and swirling arounds. Ups and downs and swirling arounds. Oh, we can get the cooking guild here! <laughs> I can tell you're happy about that. <laughs> I like cooking. I don't get enough opportunity to do it. And when I do have the opportunity to do it, I'm normally too tired, so I'm just like... Pocket. Oh, well, can't go that way. Just gotta go to customs first or some such nonsense. Oh, not this way. Oh, we have to talk to her first. Okay. Ah, you must be the envoy from Ulda. Welcome to Limsa Limits, madam. Admiral. Oh, God. Hmm? Bullofs Admiral Blaufeswein. Oh, God, we're in Germany. Blaufeswein? Admiral Blofeswein, the vets are arrival. Near the landing area. Yes. Oh god, we've got to do fake German accents then. No. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I have enough trouble doing a real German accent. Oh. Uh, no. Oh, wait. As you're the undone envoy, welcome to Linsa Marmensa. The Admiral is looking forward to your arrival. Please proceed to the crow's lift at the earliest convenience. It will take you to the bulwark hall. Once there, please speak to Zafel. Zanthiel, even. He will be pleased to show you into the Admiral's command room on the bridge. 
Okay, if this place doesn't turn out to be Alexander, I'm going to be sorely just. Oh, we have to talk to this guy. Oh. Okay. He's uh, big. Bulwark call? Bulwark call. Oh dear. <laughs> we have Fantasy Germany. <laughs> and sneezing! All the sneezing I, in Fantasy Germany. I covered the mic. I sneezed so loudly I could hear it make my lamp wiggle. <laughs> wow. I it went, it shook, it vibrated, it resonated, it rung and echoed. Mm -hmm. Rise and they all. Ow, my chest hurts now, too. Greetings, Greetings madam. madam. The, and welcome to our fair city. If you would permit me to examine the seal on the list of you carry. Yes, everything appears to be in order. My apologies. We cannot afford to be complacent, you understand. Please, step this way. Oh, hey, cutscene. There's a lot of these. This is exposition episode. Exposition stuff? Exposition node! Yeah, that works better. Exposition node. Enter! Oh, hey! Oh, it's hard! Mm -hmm. Cleavage! So the silver tongued merchants send an adventurer to speak for them. It appears the old arms place great faith in you. This way. Wadib? What? <laughs> oh, oh I bid okay. you welcome. I am Melvi Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa, and Limsa. Commander of the Maelstrom. She's definitely now, German. what news from Thanalan? Uh, I think she's Nordic more than that. Eh, uh, well, I guess. Hmm. Germany and the Nords had a lot of conflicts. <coughs> oh, there goes the voices. Intermingled. Hmm. A memorial service to honor the fallen. Seven hells. Has it been five years? Five years since the Gallian Empire sought to wrest Eorzea from our grasp. It was an answer to the Imperial threat that the city-states formed the Grand Companies and forged the Eorzean Alliance anew. But Garlemald was not content to wage war wager all on the simple contest of martial, martial might. They had other plans. The Meteor Project. The goddess Nail Vandanus Hells take him. Intended to cleanse our realm by snatching the lesser moon Darlamode from the heavens and casting it down upon our heads. Desperate to prevent this lunatic scheme, we marched our forces to Cartano Flats and there met the Vilith Empire Imperial Legion in battle. Oh, the Vlith. Never have I seen a fight like the Battle of Cartano, and I have seen it full, and I have seen full many. Wow, I'm just not able to read right now. But, though we gave no quarter, spared no not one ounce of effort, we could not prevent what followed. From inside the shell of Dalamud came a winged creature, a dragon the size of a bloody city. It was the elder primal, Bahamut, bent on making an eighth hell of Eorzea. In the space of a breath, the legions of the Empire were set aflame, while our own armies fared little better. It was as if the whole world was burning. Words cannot well describe the scene. I've seen it! Hmm? And yet, by some miracle, a few among us were spared. Even as I steeled myself for death, a blinding white light enveloped me, robbing me of my senses. That's what happens when you save load! Hmm? When I regained them, the dragon was gone, and the still smoldering land was warped beyond all knowing. Were Archon Louis Soir still with us, he would doubtless shed some light on these unfathomable happenings. Alas, he is not, and I fear we will want for his wisdom in the days to come. For while our nation struggled to recover from the devastation, beastmen call forth their damned primals to torment us anew. Unless we put aside our differences and rebuild now, our foes will catch us unprepared. And I speak not only of the Beastmen. Do not imagine that the Empire has forsaken its claim on Eorzea. The Imperials crowd our borders, waiting to strike. Damn it all, we need champions to replace those we lost. But such thoughts are worse than worthless. Time is short, and none will save us, save ourselves. It is the duty of every soul who survived the Calamity to work together for the good of Eorzea. And this memorial service may be the very thing to unite us. 
Aye, Rabban has the right of it. I accept his proposal. Goggle man. <laughs> right, 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 right. Circles, squares, circles, squares, squares, circle. Squiggle, squiggle. Line. Dot. Just mum. Your duty is done here, adventure. I will see to it that the flame general receives my reply. Your travel next to Gridania, yes? Nod. Hm. Pray give my regards to the elder Cynthia. Oh, tell her the wolf has been sniffing around the stables. A private jest, and one in poor taste. But I would have you tell it all the same. Mm -hmm. Smile. Fare you well, Shahrazad and Scythia. May the navigator guide you on your journey. I should come to think of it. Who is my god? Or my guardian spirit? Oh, I'm lightheaded now after all that. <laughs> You're not very good at speaking for a long period of time, are you? I used to be. I'm, I'm actually not bad, but it's, it's the voicing that's mostly doing it. You need to Whoa. learn breathing techniques or something. Jeez. Oh, I'm Halone the Fury. That's... Whoa. <laughs> I'm so dizzy. What's our time? Um, we've got plenty. We've got a bit. Right. I am a Azirim the Warden. Azriam the Warden. Alright. Now we got to gather all of these quests 20. ever. Your turn. Um, Excuse me, miss. Level, level one quest. Level one quest. Might you have a moment to spare? But we'll Probably leave same. it. Yeah, we'll, we'll save these quests. Uh, we'll do them on different classes, but we'll do them on camera. I, uh, okay, I'll just deny this quest then for now. Yeah. If I can. Can I? First thing first, we need to do the right chart. I can. Alright, well, we'll do it there. Okay, you'll have to read then. Alright. Uh, wow, I am really, really close with this person, apparently. <laughs> nuzzle, 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 nuzzle. Excuse me, miss, but might you have a moment or two to spare? You seem the type who enjoys being accosted for menial tasks, and I don't require someone to make a delivery to the two sisters, sisters of the Edelweiss. I wouldn't be surprised if you hadn't heard of them. The sisters prefer not to advertise their presence here in Nipsa Nipsa. They do, however, provide a rather unique service of which the Brugere Consortium has recently been the beneficiary. I would give you, I would have you deliver this package to that doorman. Long word, along with our profuse gratitude. Okay. Boop. Cuddle. Really a doctor. Alrighty. There's a lot of quests around here, so... I guess we'll grab them all. Um, do you want it? We only have room for a certain amount. Oh, we do. What's, yeah, what's our... maximum of thirty. We've got. Th I've got three right now. Yeah, so much. I've got uh, three. The Goblin Merchant Sweet Dux appears. Your turn. Some Psh, hi. Sweet Dux is beauty scoby and handy scratch smart trait marker. Sweet Dux is busy deal of Uplanders. Need to deliver letter to get of my living. But sweet oh. nice has seven sticks. Uplander walks to get of my living for sneak knack, the sweet knacks. Uplander delivers letter to tax lady. Pata Jack. Sure. Sure, why why not? Why Push. why not do it? <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Dude, no! That is not okay! That is not at all okay. Like, at all. That is no. Bad monkey. Bad. Anyway, go along. I'm following you. Hey there. Follow you. You, Miss Adventurer. I have work for you. Um, I would have you pose as a customer and survey the market's current prices. Surely you would not see the bulk of such a simple task? All you need to do is strike up a conversation with the shopkeeper's owner and glance over their wares. There are three merchants that interest me. Iron Thunder, Koyo Koyoron, Run, and Sinihil. Write down all you see in the price list and hand it over to 
between uh, blah. Ben Xing on the West Hawkers Alley. He shall reward you for your services. Hmm. Hey, here's Iron Thunder. We can do it on the way. Well met, lass. Cast your papers over these beauties. Not a spot of rice to be found. Every piece fresh from the forges of Naldik and Vermelius. Okay. Uh huh. There's another quest, and there's an eighth right right over there. It's Dozan! Oops. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, hey, oh my, oh dear, my cask of ale is gone, and it had to be the one ordered by someone who doesn't work tardiness. It would bring the matter to the maelstrom, or perhaps seek help from the yellow jackets, but my client would likely frown on involving anyone official. An adventurer such as yourself, though, would be careful of doing a little unofficial investigating. Will you find the stolen hail for me? We are just right outside Fisherman's Bottom. Someone surely saw someone. Something. What's that? You would have the client's name? Oh, none of that. Discretion creates opportunities. Now do go to Fisherman's Bottom and make John Crows before his old mind grows worse. <laughs> oh, oh, I got it. Oh, I'm going to get excuse me. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Where's that? Eight? There it is. Hey, it's Kirun. Kirun welcomes oh, welcome customer. Kirun loves his lovely trade. Your Kirun's woods are goodly made. I said that a different way each time. Here's the last one. A fine day to you, Mist. What can I interest you in the... Why, you seem interested in most everything, don't you? This is another one of those investigations. Well, I have nothing to hide. Hmm. This, this is all just right on the way. You're the one made a list for Swords Blast. Let's have it in. Apparently we made a list, list while we were at it. Yep. You have time to get pirate selling. <clears throat> you have time to get pirate selling stolen goods at cutthroat prices. That drives the numbers down right across Ocker's Alley. Thanks to these reports, though, if we can tell at a glance when shady dealings have taken place. Good work, Les. Well, thank you for your 10 Earth Shards and 50 credits. Yep. Uh, not credits, experience. Was that just experience? We didn't even get paid? Nope. Oh, by the way, this is where you get the Arcanist. Um, I don't need the Arcanist, though. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, no, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get it eventually, we're just gonna get everything. It's, it'll, it gives you something to do! Yeah, probably. We'll see. Actually, I feel, I feel like we're supposed to go with it there. Oh, wait, we're supposed to deliver a letter in there anyways. Wait, what? Oh, right, okay. Really? Lovely things! Where is Sweet Next in these import records? Without the proper documentation, I'm afraid we shall have to expel him from the city. Hmm, why? These are Sweet Nexus records. I'm glad to see they were submitted on time. Honestly, I would take that goblin would have lost his fear in the, of our offices by now. Every month he has to submit these papers, and every month his tardiness forces me to consider his removal. As long as one follows proper procedure, Lenzula Mensa is a welcoming place to foreign traders. Pray convey these words to Sweetnax. Perhaps it will aid soothe the poor goblin's fears. Yeah, no. Oh. Here at Melvin's Gates, we inspect all the goods that arrive imported into Linza Lamensa and collect duty as the law requires. Some merchants, however, seek to evade this obligation, and we chase them down. I would be grateful if you could deliver these um, two ledgers. One to a man named Sundahimel. Is that right? Sundhemal, Sundhemal, whom you will find at the Octant, Ox, Oct, Octant, Octant, 
and the uh, other um, woman named Latasha, who worked at the Bismarck. If you are certain of the whereabouts of the Bismarck, ask Sunda Mahal when you meet him, and he will point you in the right direction. Uh, skip, 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 skip. We can pause it. Yes. You know. Yeah. But use these magic uh, numbers, basically. Yep. Yes, as far as I could it's, quickly it's, uh, Divine symbology or something like that. Uh, now, just so you people know, we are not going to be doing uh, other, other class yeah. quests on screen. So I'm literally just here to get it while we're here, and then we can run around doing that other stuff off, off screen. <clears throat> Yeah, I should have left it so I could have read it properly. Oh, mate, just... Why? You don't have to do arc. That's that's arcanists. You don't have to do that one. I know, but you know, I was thinking I might look it up. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Well, you know, it's 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 in your event list. You can always just read it now. Yeah, I'll get it after. Maybe. I can look over the video and just pause it. Remember? Yeah, yeah that's true. But you skipped it pretty damn fast, though. Mm, yeah, true. Right, we'll anyway, this way. that's that's the bit thing, the way. Oh, that's it. Is it? Yep. Right. Now let's get a nice view. Uh... That. Right, where? Right there. There. Yeah. With the fog in yeah, the distance. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So we'll leave it until, until next time, and all the best, man. Uh, have a good night, everybody. Have fun. Bye bye.